We're gonna be trying chocolate today. I know what some of you might be thinking. So if you follow me on my second channel, then you know I, I've been cutting out sugar, trying to be more active, and chocolate seems very counterproductive if you're trying to be healthy. All of that is true. However, this is real chocolate. This is by Tehemlerek. It loosely translates to like Kingdom of Heaven. And we have all these delicious chocolates. Showed you the top part, I have to show you the bottom. See, and there's all this. And this box was, I think, $7.25 or $7.50. And you get 15 pieces of chocolate, 250 grams. So we have this one. This is mango. I like mango. It looks mango-y in milk chocolate. His own tet. Or no, smaklik. Oh, there's stuff in the middle. Oh my goodness. I take back everything I said negative about milk chocolate. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. There's the middle of this. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Milk chocolate tastes so different in Belgium because they use milk and it has this creamy texture that you just don't have in the US because it just tastes like sugar back home. Oh my gosh, that was so delicious. And you can taste the mango. Mango is just popping in my mouth right now. And then you have the top part, which was creamy and solid. And then the filling, which was just so smooth and creamy. Oh my goodness. That was delicious. I don't know what this is, but it's a crown and it's dark chocolate. You can't go wrong with dark chocolate. Okay, it's weird. It's, mm. What is this? Filling, this is delicious. I don't know what that filling is. Whatever it is, it's delicious. Oh my goodness. This is such an experience, oh my gosh. I really thought I wasn't going to be able to get better than that mango piece. And then this just made the bar go so much higher. I'm sort of worried that the bar is going to go down because that was so delicious because you have the bitterness of the dark chocolate. And it's a hard outer shell so there's that sort of bite and crunchiness. In the inside it's just smooth and creamy, but it's bitter and sweet and it just, oh, it's so delicious in your mouth. Okay, so this one's coffee. Oh, okay, so you have this side, and then on this side, there's a picture of a lady. It's like a little chocolate brooch that you eat. Mm. The, oh my goodness. Oh my, I feel like I'm just drunk or eaten a cup of coffee, because there's like this coffee taste, but you have this creaminess that it tastes like a cafe au lait. The texture is it's so perfect for a coffee chocolate because it tastes like the cream that you get if you order like a cappuccino or something. The texture is just spot on. It just, it feels full and foamy and then it just melts over your tongue and you get this coffee note. This is genius. Mmm. This one is the violet. It should be interesting. It's dark chocolate. There's like some sugar sprinkles going on on top. Here we go. Smock like. There's something in the middle. Okay. Um, here's the middle. This isn't bad. <laughs> you know how hard candies are sort of the candies of old people? If there was a chocolate that was specifically for old people, this would be that chocolate. It's delicious. It just, it has that sort of old people feel to it. That was almost a bit too sweet. It's like, ugh, sort of gaggy sweet. I think I have to try another one for science. See, that's the only negative thing is that when you go to a proper chocolate shop in Belgium, you have all the chocolate on display and everything just looks delicious. And you can see what you're getting and then they put it in the box but then you don't remember what you got. So I know it's all dark chocolate. I know it's all delicious. I just don't remember what it is. I'm going to go with the one that's in the shape of a present box and this will be the last one. And now I'm thinking of Forrest Gump where, what was the expression that he said? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And I don't know what I'm gonna get with this, but it's a present, so smack lick. I feel like this is something with alcohol. There's like a burn to it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is just so delicious. Anywho, that's my video for Tehemlerik 
we're gonna butcher some Dutch here, is artisanal chocolate house. So it's the artisanal chocolate house. It is delicious. Seriously, guys, if you come to Belgium and you're going to Ypres, check them out. I will leave you directions. This, <laughs> this is the place that you need to go, in all honesty. So if you like this video, which I'm sure you did, because nothing is better than watching somebody enjoy chocolate without you being able to taste it. You guys are just gonna have to come to Belgium and try their chocolate. So give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What's wrong with you? Why don't you like chocolate? You're weird. We can't be friends. We really can't if you don't like chocolate. Just no. Tootsies, my apple scenes. I got this tiny box because I didn't want to be greedy. And I did get all the dark chocolate, which is my favorite chocolate. I, I'm not that interested in milk and white. But guys, I really am regretting not getting the bigger box because oh my goodness, this chocolate is so delicious. I, I'm, I'm gonna just have to go back and get more chocolate. 